Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this toy air figure and uh, the figure I'm showing you guys is Doc Ock and uh, yeah there's the box, I got it from um, 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 GiantToy.com so let's get into it Alright, and here we have a Doc Ock outside of packaging or the Ock and um, here's everything, uh, comes with a base with that cradle, I mean the the clamp, and the clamp does not have any um, any foam padding inside either. So there's the cradle, and then uh, four bags of money, and then we have his goggles, bunch of hands, a bendy rod, and then four tentacles. They're different. Uh, two has that. And two looks like that. So they're actually different. Alright, straight out of the box. And it has working zippers too. Right in here. A real working zipper. I'll undo it later on. Just want to show you guys what it looks like straight out of the box. It has a outer coat and an inner coat. And the angles are a bit weak. And then there are four uh, ball joints there to attach the tentacles Okay, so I went ahead and took the two coats off uh, the the inner coat is actually really hard to take off uh, the zipper It's almost impossible to take off uh, To undo and then uh, this check uh, this coat does not have sleeves uh, There are the four holes right there. So it's just pleather Really nice actually. I think they did a really good job with it. And then there's the other coat the outer coat and the four holes on the back and then you can see the body now the body um, it's a little muscular uh, I don't think the actor is that muscular uh, in the film but it's alright whatever it doesn't really matter and then there are the four tentacles uh, the pot I mean the There are the four connectors right here, so you just need to pop those arms in. I'll do that later on. And then this is, uh, it's got a chrome finish, which is nice. And uh, yeah, so there's Hawk. Uh, his pants are padded a little bit uh, to make it a little more chunky. Uh, I still really like the head sculpt. I think they did a really good job with it. I mean, it's not perfect likeness, but I think uh, it turned out really nice. And with the with the goggles on, he's almost spot on. So, all right. So let me put the coats back on and then uh, attach the arms. All right. And here's Doc Ock with all the tentacles and everything. So you guys can see he looks absolutely gorgeous with the goggles on. Spot on. Wait. Let me move the goggles up a little bit. Okay. There we go. And uh, tentacles, um, they are all individually articulated. Their ball joints on all of these notches there. So it's awesome how many notches are on here. They didn't skim on it because uh, I, was, I was imagining that they would maybe do sections by sections, like 5, 10, in order to save on ball joints. But no, they didn't. They gave us uh, all... They give us all ball joints in each segment on these uh, tentacles. So I'm very impressed with that from Toy Era. Um, the bendy rod is a bit long. Um, it would have been nice if the bendy rod wasn't this long. It's kind of super long. So I have to bend a bit of it just so it doesn't look so massively long. Because otherwise it will be way up there which I don't think it needs to be uh, he could have done it he could have even done it a little bit lower but I can't get him any lower because the bendy rod is just too long for this figure um, but uh, everything else looks fantastic figure looks fantastic uh, the the joints are a little bit loose especially around the hips and the ankles those are a little bit loose but everything else is very nice and uh, since I'm putting him on a flight base, 
and uh, legs aren't that much of an issue. But uh, eventually I will want him to be standing, but uh, that's... That could be an issue. Maybe I'll put some floor polish around the uh, around the joints and stiffen it up or something. See if that work. And then um, yeah, really good looking figure. Let me show you guys a closer look at the tentacles. And uh, you can see there are hinges. There are three hinges, or well, two hinges. One right here and then base right there. And then all these segments are ball joints. All of them. So that's crazy how many ball joints there are. Suit looks fantastic and uh, makes me want to watch Spider Man 2 again. I might just do that. And then, uh, that's what it looks like. And here are the lower arms. Again, they're different. These are more pointy bits. And these are more squarish. Yeah, this figure turned out fantastic. Uh, better than uh, uh, Goblin. So yeah, I'm surprised a toy Toys Era be, um, was able to was able to create something this fantastic. And uh, Hot Toys didn't give us one, so I'm glad uh, Toys Era is giving us this. And at the end of the day, is this figure worth getting? Yes, hell yeah. Uh, even though I pay a bit more, uh, I think initially when it first came out it was 209 or something, and then uh, I waited. I didn't think I needed it, uh, but after getting um, Goblin, I decided to get it, and uh, it was still available, so I'm happy about that. And uh, it cost me 240, which I'm happy to pay from Giant Toys. Uh, giantoy.com that's where I got it and uh, they're very good with their shipping too um, yeah I haven't had any issues with it and uh, they ship really fast too I mean next day they, they will ship it out and uh, they don't they don't wait a week or something like uh, like BBTS where they wait over a week before they ship stuff out uh, yeah so give them a try uh, I think they still have this guy available so yeah there's a uh, dog from Toys Era. Thanks for watching.